Hi, this is Swati from the softwaretestinghelp.com team and this in this segment we are going to talk about stress testing. There's a lot of discussion around stress testing usually whenever we bring up this topic. You know, some argue that it is a functional kind of testing, some argue that it is non-functional. So let's take a look at stress testing um, from a neutral perspective for now without getting into whether it is functional, non-functional or any other category. And we'll also at the end of it, um, depending on all the you know um, discussion that we have, at the end of it we will be able to infer or you know uh, we'll be able to come to a conclusion whether you know how can we categorize stress testing. Now stress testing is um, basically testing an application while it is stressed. Now how would you say that a certain application is stressed? When it is working at its maximum limit. So the very first prerequisite for you to start stress testing is for number one is that you will have to identify a limit in your application. Now this limit could be anything. Let's say for example there is a certain um, edit box or a text box on your screen and this takes close or you know uh, the limit is that it takes it can hold a maximum of 25 characters. So when would you say that this you know an input box is working at its maximum stress when you put all the 25 characters it's it is at its most stressful stage. So wherever there is a limit stress testing is all about subjecting your application or an element in your application to that maximum limit point and seeing whether it works or not. Okay now let's say take another example. There is a database at the uh, back end. All right. So this database, let's say at any given point of time, this can take only 500 um, records or a certain, you know, amount of memory, uh, you know, uh, capacity that this database might have. So this is actually a physical limitation, but it's still a limitation all the same. So stress testing would be to subject all the 500 records yeah, or you know uh, to load all these 500 records into your database and making sure if your application is working or not. Another example could be um, there might be a website that allows you know a certain amount of concurrent users to log in. So the maximum amount of concurrent users at a certain point of time if they are 100 you will subject to all the 100 users and see whether you know you will, you're getting the exact same response times whether it is working uh, you know the way it should or not. So stress testing number one is talking about limits of an application and testing your application when it is up to its maximum limit. Now. When you take a look at all of these kind of requirements, when you're talking about uh, our first instance, which is a text box, that's actually a functional requirement, correct? Of a, sub, a certain number of characters that a usual field can take, that's almost you know related to the functionality of the application. So for one, there is a functional limit. The database is a physical or you know a backend sort of a requirement, probably not functional or could be functional depending on who you're talking to. So this is a more sort of a, a functional plus non-functional hybrid kind of a requirement. When you're talking about case 3, 100 users, checking whether 100 users is acceptable or not definitely is functional. But if you're taking a look at the uh, you know response time of the application or the network, um, how much of the network consumption it's taking when there are all 100 uh, concurrent users, if that's the kind of test you're involved in, then it's non-functional. So as far as stress testing is concerned, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a certain genre of testing that you cannot uh, group as uh, functional or non-functional. So instead of concentrating on what sort of testing it is, with stress, te with stress testing it is very important to just identify where you are seeing any limits set on your application or the entities that constitute your application and try to exploit them. All right, so <clears throat> let's try to do a quick recap. Stress testing is all about identifying limits and subjecting them to the limit and testing it. Now stress testing also is a form of load testing, right? You are uh, putting a certain amount of load on your system. But this load, amount, load testing, uh, when it is specific to load testing, is only talking about the maximum load. So what I mean is, 
when there are 100 users maximum that a site can take, you're not doing this incrementally. You're not doing this 10 first, 20 first. This is not the approach for stress testing. Only the maximum load, which is 100 uh, users all at the same time. Now, the third thing that we need to understand is the intent. What are we trying to achieve with the stress testing? When we subject a certain website or uh, another application to stress testing, our job or, you know, our primary focus is to get a yes or no answer. So at the stress point, does your application work? Is that a yes or is that a no? This is the only question that we are trying to identify when we are performing the stress testing. And number four, an important point to all of your, all of us testers, where do we identify these stress requirements or, you know, how do we find them out? Um, the best place, again, um, the very first point of reference is always your functional requirements document or any other requirement document that you are, you know, uh, following as your first reference. But most of these um, stress requirements can be found in your design documents like a technical design document or, you know, uh, any other document that your team maintains. So um, for those of you who are not sure about where the technical design document can become an input to the testers, it is areas where you're trying to identify the stress limits of your application. So quick recap, stress testing is all about exploiting the limits of your application. And wherever there is a limit, it could be a, a database, it could be a user, it could be a field level, any sort of limit when there exists to an application. Stress testing is all about uh, subjecting to the maximum limit and answering the question of whether the application works or not.